Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today we are going to be taking a look at a Flat Earther who I haven't actually made a video on in a while. The Flat Earther in question is of course Level Earth Observer. Wonder what he's been up to lately. Am I driving this crane on top of a cannonball that's doing half a million mile an hour, flying through space? Um, maybe I'll go look at some of his other videos while he gets the whole flying through space thing sorted out. So who's lying? First up, we got some evidence that was sent to me as so-called proof for the Globe Earth theory. Well, Elio, if you really want to know, in my experience, it tends to be the Flat Earthers that are generally the liars. I've actually recently seen quite a few liars that have been posted to Twitter by Flat Earthers that are just flat out lies. For example, they'll show a photo that was supposedly taken by NASA on Mars, but it's actually just a photo that was taken here on Earth with a filter put on it. Except nowhere is there any record of NASA ever claiming that it was a photo from Mars. Another one is a video of someone on the ISS and in the background you can see someone with clapperboards. Except the clapperboards were edited in. And that's not to mention all the lies that Eric Dubé tells as well. You know, if Flat Earthers actually had any good evidence, they wouldn't feel the need to lie at all. The person that sent me this video, very short clip, claimed that because there was no warping of the solar panels and no distortion, that this was, u this was filmed using a normal camera lens. Now, I've got to be honest, this is a good bit of space propaganda. And of course, it does look quite... Well, there's no distortion, should we say, with regards to solar panels. And as a result, just like this person was claiming, it would appear the globe Earth curvature <laughs> has been proven, according to the person that sent me the clip. Wait, is Elio actually going to change his mind? Is that why he's currently stuck in space flying at a million miles an hour? Regardless, I want to add one small correction, and that is that this video would be evidence, not proof. If someone tells you that they have proof of something, they are most likely talking about evidence unless they are a mathematician. But really, I'm just nitpicking here, which I do like to do, by the way. Thank you, James. So we've got James May, the United States Air Force, obviously using one of their U-2 spy planes, and of course the BBC, citing curvature of the Earth from 70,000 feet. And of course, this is where it goes pear-shaped, because I've blended an image from James May's citation of Earth curve from 70,000 feet, and I've blended an image from the Russian cosmonauts, uh, from the clip that was sent to me a supposed globe earth evidence of curve and yes of course just like previously when we blend the two together we get exactly the same amount of so called curve proving any curve is optical and not physical because you couldn't have the same curve that was sighted at 70,000 feet it's the same curve that's sighted from over 250 miles up. Dear oh dear. There is a fatal flaw with Elio's argument there, but first, I want to help him out a bit. So, how does Elio know that there was no fisheye lens used in the James May clip? If I showed that to a flat earther, they would probably instantly claim that there's a fisheye lens being used there. Now, I'm not exactly an expert in lenses and stuff, so I've reached out to someone who, well, if they're not an expert, they have a hell of a lot more knowledge than I do. And after a bit of back and forth with him, he actually confirmed that there was no fisheye lens being used. So thank you Dave McKeegan for pointing a couple of things out for me. Here's a few things that he noted. At one point, James May zoomed in. Apparently a fisheye lens cannot do that. Also, when James May pans the camera around, you don't see the distortion that you'd normally see from a fisheye lens. Level Earth Observer could have done some analysis to say, hey guys, look, this is not a fisheye lens. But he didn't do that. Anyway, now that we've confirmed that it's not a fisheye lens, here is the fatal flaw with Elio's analysis. Let's take a frame from the ISS video that he displayed. Notice how the frame is vertical. Now you might be wondering why that's important, and it's because of field of view. You see, oftentimes, because cameras don't actually take square pictures, you will get a different field of view when it comes to the vertical axes of the picture versus the horizontal axes of the picture. Take, for example, the video that you're watching right now. Because I am filming in landscape, there is actually a wider field of view along the horizontal axis than the vertical axis. If I wanted to have the same field of view along each axis on screen, that would look pretty weird, I'd say. I mean, I could just use a square box, but where's the fun in that? 
Anyway, getting back to the image from the ISS, because it is in vertical, that means that the vertical field of view is much larger than the horizontal field of view. Now if we take the image from the James May thing that he compares it to and we just shrink down the horizontal field of view just a little bit, we can see that there's a lot less curvature now. That is a pretty standard thing that a lot of flat earthers do to try and minimize the amount of curve that you might see in an image. It might be a little bit more productive to look at an image that is in landscape rather than portrait from the ISS. If we take this video here from the ISS, we can see that the curve is far more pronounced in this than it was in what LEO showed. Now just to make sure that I've covered all my bases, is that using a fisheye lens? No. So yeah, Elio, maybe learn a little bit more about Field of View next time. Just wouldn't work. And of course, because we know it's optical, because they, they wouldn't be the same amount of curve, we also know now that the Earth curve with the space station has been layered in. Otherwise you would have, could because it's optical, the solar panels would all be bent. You know, it's very typical of a flurf to just claim that what they're looking at is CGI. Elio, if you're watching this, just admit that you are looking for any reason you could to justify it to yourself that it's CGI. It doesn't matter how you justify it to yourself, just as long as you do. And I'll admit, this isn't the worst attempt that I've seen from you to justify something being CGI. Official footage. So I'll pose the question, is that real? Yes. Or is that just a cheap, tacky model? No. You tell me. He really is incredulous, isn't he? From that clip that you showed, you just showed a video which you thought was fake and said, oh look, this looks like it's fake to me, so therefore it must be. Yeah, this here was definitely a better attempt than that. And as a result, the BBC have just debunked the Russians. The Russians have just debunked the BBC and Russia and BBC and the U-2 spy plane have debunked the ISS and, of course, the Globe Earth Theory. What a charade. You know, if LEO actually had a point here, it would make the people trying to hide the shape of the Earth highly incompetent, despite the fact that they've successfully managed to fool everybody about the shape of the Earth. That is something that a cartoon villain would do, so that the writer has a way for the good guys to find out about who the villain is. Wait, does Elio think that we're in some kind of children's story and that he's somehow the main character? And this, yet again, was supposed to be evidence. Oh, oh it was evidence, all right. Just not quite the way you figured it to be. Well, Elio, here is my suggestion. Review it again. I know that you're just going to try and find another excuse for white CGI, but hopefully you put a bit more thought into the next one. I can only hope. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you liked that video. Leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see me do for future videos. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. Huge Rs, MC Nutkin, Nathaniel Muller, Vermont1777, Wolfie, Mori, Grandma Ghost, Kid Vicious, Sarcha Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, and Richard M. Chapman. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link there. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. Or do you think I might be on a non-rotating Earth? Which isn't moving anywhere, thankfully.